History has already recorded the lives and fates of the major war criminals of the last war. But hundreds of minor agents who acted on orders to accomplish the deeds of destruction still wander the countries of Europe. Some search for a place to live and peace. Others wait restlessly for the time of revival. This is the story of one girl who tried playing both sides. She thought she couldn't lose and never gave herself a chance to win. never expected to see you. Why? Oh, you never heard then. Heard what? I was pardoned. Oh, parole boards are getting very lenient. I was never condemned. Well, I'm sure there must be a reason, but it escapes me. A good reason. I'll tell you about it. Don't bother. You might let me explain. Look, I'm really not interested. Miss Cannon, please, you must let me explain. Madam Martinez, I'm sure you explained it to the people who count. My opinion doesn't make any difference. It's not only you. How do you think it feeds? Feeds like this. And people won't even listen. That's tough. What do you want, pity? I want a chance to put things straight. Can I tell you about it this evening? I'm late for work now. I'm busy tonight. Come with me now, then. To your work? I'll find the time, even though we have a showing today. I'm a model now. The shop is over there. All right, come on. Gada, there you are. You're on first. Hurry into your gown. We won't have time after all. Can you wait just a little while? I don't have much time. It won't take long. Madam, may my friend wait here? Find a place out front and uh, please don't run away. All right. She's still asking questions. What can I do? your invitation. I must have thrown it away. What firm do you represent? My own shop in Strasbourg. I'm sorry, I don't recall sending you an invitation. I'll have to ask you to leave. with me, Mr. Cannon. Well, let's get to the story, Madam Martinez. I want to tell you first about that other newspaper man, Thompson. I had nothing to do with his death. Thompson was murdered because of the Von Strachan affair. Yes. And you were with, with uh, Von Strachan's ring. Von Strachan killed Thompson himself. The rest of us weren't in on it. We didn't even know beforehand, that is. And they accepted your word for that? No, your G2 got a hold of von Strachan. They got von Strachan in Lisbon? It wasn't so difficult. I helped. You did, huh? I turned double agent. That's why I was pardoned. It was after you left Lisbon. When uh, we started the liberation of Europe, and your side was losing. Let's not discuss motives. They can speak for themselves later. Your motives are too obvious to discuss. I thought you at least would understand without discussing them. But maybe we'd better. It's a long story. I don't have the time. Sunday soon, then. 
Well, I'm going to Brussels on the 5 o'clock train tomorrow. I don't know when I'll be back in Paris again. I'm leaving for Brussels tomorrow myself by plane. I'll be there for two days to present some gowns at the Grand Hotel. Will you look me up? Well, there's an international conference that'll last for three days. I don't think I'll have the time. Bye. We'll meet in Brussels, Professor Cannon. Now, what was that all about this afternoon? You almost cost my job. I had to take the chance. Were you followed? No. I made sure. I had the tax to go all around the Bois de Boulogne before coming home. Mm. I picked these up this afternoon, and I got a message with them. A Brussels crowd is planning to hijack us. They know we made a plane reservation. You'll never make it that way. I'll get there somehow. I hate to have to use these. It's a good job. Can't see that we've been touched. Oh, I made sure they did it right. Hollow steel jackets, lead lining, and a low powder charge. But it's all of no use unless they are delivered. I have to leave tomorrow. Otherwise, I lose my job, and I don't want to. Those troubling assignments are too good. Grants won't wait either. He's arranged the shipment from Brussels to Amsterdam the day after tomorrow. You've got to get through. You recall the man at the collection today? Yes. He's going to Brussels tomorrow by train. I'll go up with him. He'll give me a cover. Who is he? A newspaper man I knew in Lisbon. I ran into him today, and I brought him along to convince him I'm on the level. Are you sure you ran into him? He doesn't suspect anything. He was trying to get rid of me. I suppose it's all right. No one could ever stumble on the hiding place anyway. What about Brussels End? Can you get there before me to make sure there's no slip up? I'll take the bus to the airport to draw them from you. But I can't risk taking the plane. Plant a car at the airport. You'll have time to drive up if you can lose them. I'll try. How are you going to arrange with the newspaper man? Like this. Hello? Oh, Madame Martinez. So, you recognize my voice. It just occurred to me that I could manage to take the train with you. It's a public conveyance. We could talk some more. We could, but I don't see the purpose. Don't be so hard. Will you pick me up? I'll be working until the last minute. See you on the train, then. That was Lisbon Lily, I take it. Now, maybe I ought to believe more in human nature, but... <laughs> Just like that, huh? I'm practical, Arthur. Not proud. Thanks. I'll find another compartment if you mind that much. Well, you're here, you might just as well stay. I'm going to the diner. You might invite me. All right, come along. for the diner. Come on. Nothing in his either. His name is Cannon, a newspaper man. Newspaper man? That's a good excuse for traveling around, too. They must have it on them. They'll have to come back for customs. We'll get them later. No time, no. Get 
Pass the cheese. Have you anything to declare? Nothing. Have you anything to declare? Yes, here's a receipt for some gowns I'm taking to Brussels for a showing. They're not for resale. And I carry a gun, and this is my permit. May I see the gun, please? Yes. It's loaded. It's a large caliber for a woman. You're wondering about the gun? Doesn't exactly go with your new profession. When you turn double agent, you don't get forgiven. Ever. Sit down. Both of you. Your sister, let's have them. Behind that suitcase. I warn you, it won't do any good. Those two signs are registered. You'll be traced. Nothing in there but dresses. That's my collection. We want diamonds, not dresses. I don't know what you're talking about. Get out of here, or I'll ring. You won't ring. You can't afford it. Maybe he is a newspaper man. Would you have the same, or... Go ahead. Nothing on him. O'Reilly. Arthur probably is carrying them off the road. It's a station before Brussels. Better warn the boats from here. What about them? Can't take them with us. Where are they? They got off. How are you feeling? My head's coming off. What you do? Dig out the bullet? I wanted to avoid any attention. Publicity would get me fired. You won't say anything, will you? I had nothing to do with it. Just my reputation. I'll have to notify the police. in here. Where is she? Uh, she got off as soon as the train stopped, I think. How long have we been in? Oh, a few minutes. Oh, Shall I help you? Oh, that's all right, thanks. I'm all right. Thanks. Can you give us a description? Well, the man might be easy to trace. He had a deep scar from his cheekbone to his mouth. What does he look like? Oh, I'd say about five foot eight. Dark hair with a little gray, about uh, 160 pounds. Regular features. Oh, I'd say in his late 30s. That sounds familiar. What, do you know where you can pick him up? I don't know if it will do any good, but um, I think I can find him. The woman must still have my revolver. But I'm sure they have no idea where the diamonds are hidden. What did the hijackers look like? 
The man has a scar from here to here. He's about uh, so high, thin, with sort of a pinched face. I know who it is. And I know where I can find him. There's no use of your staying up all night, too. No telling when we locate them. I have a bash on the head to even up. Two. More coffee? Take it easy, Gotta. There's nothing you can do. That's the trouble. There's the boy. Where is the gun? It wasn't on him. And he hasn't talked yet. Now you talk. That will take all night. Got the revolver. Edward Ranf. He's a sort of hanger on around some of the joints. Sometimes gives us a tip. He saw something tonight that might be. Uh... Let him tell it. I don't know if it is the man you are looking for, Inspector. But I was in a club tonight, and two men came in and took a fellow out. And uh, it sounds like uh, the man you are looking for. Or do we play? Another round. You're a gambler. Feed you the odds. Uh, let me go. He might talk. We don't want you. The boss said it. Stop her. Where do we find him? This house. It's on the road to the edge. Take him along. You're welching on the bed. You haven't delivered yet. How do I know you'll make good later? Worry about it. Come on. You sure of it? Good. Right? Your man with the scar works for Stuffer, and he has a place in the suburbs.
Americana. I'm glad you're here too. Save it. Inside all of you. What happened? They kidnapped me. Mr. Cannon can tell you. He knows they were after me. And them? They are friends of mine. We picked him up and found out where they were holding Gerda. They opened up on us first. Why didn't you come to the police? Maybe it wasn't right, but we were worried about Gerda. Not formalities. Why did they kidnap you? They kept on talking about diamonds. Mr. Cannon knows I didn't have any on me. They must have had some reasons for thinking you did. My reputation. Ask Mr. Cannon about it. I hope you will have permits for those. I was using the one we found on him. All right. Let's go over to headquarters. Are you arresting us? Right now your alibis for each other are perfect. But I'd like to check, if you don't mind. You see what I meant now? I was forgiven, but my past... Yes, I know. You told me all about it. Gerda! Going in for gardening? My hands are dirty. Hold it. the evidence you've been looking for. A 38 caliber bullet with a diamond embedded in it. An easy way to carry them and an easy way to get rid of them. Your hands never were clean, Gerda.